delving into the legal and financial dimensions of the judgment. All right, so here's the breaking news. And the former federal prosecutor, Cherkaski, and I were just talking about this. And he said this was not going to hold up. He said Trump's going to be fine. So the court has just ruled that the bond, that $175 million bond that Trump put up, will stand despite the fight that the woman on the right, Letitia James, the attorney general of New York, was trying to slide in. And, and what did Cherkaski call it? He called it, she was trying to play a legal technicality saying that the insurance company that Trump was using wasn't going to have the resources to back up that bond should he fail an appeal. Well, the court says the bond can stay. $175 million needs to be in cash, not mutual funds or securities where value can fluctuate. Night Insurance cannot trade or move the money, but they will have control of the account and will provide a monthly financial statement to the attorney general showing $175 million in cash. Highlighting the significance of legal protocols and adherence to contracts. The court's endorsement of the bond exemplifies adherence to legal norms and contractual duties. These factors intertwine with legal controversies, encompassing aspects such as stress management, resilience, coping mechanisms, and emotional responses, which can significantly impact individuals like Donald Trump. The fiscal accountability within legal contexts further explores the potential ramifications of this verdict on future legal scenarios, exploring how legal entanglements involving public figures influence public sentiment, media portrayals, and societal dialogues, not only shaping the perceptions of the individuals involved, but also molding public views on law, justice, and accountability. As prominent figures like the New York Attorney General grapple with ongoing legal battles, the court's decision stands as a testament to the integrity of legal proceedings and property rights.